Hello Sagittarius, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your April 2021 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, I've included down below my new website uh, link and you can go there and get yourself an appointment set up and we'll get to it as quickly as we can. Also we have continued and added to our menu the two question uh, like we did in January special. They're voice recorded email questions and thank you for that request. I did add them to the uh, new website just the other, the, what is it, uh, last month or the month before. So with that said, let's see what's coming up for you Sagittarius. It says don't let yourself get stuck emotionally like tied to someplace okay remember sometimes when we feel like we're locked in or we can't move or we can't breathe that's when we need to close our eyes step back and just breathe and you know see what's going on <clears throat> sometimes we just need to get outside put our feet on you know mother earth and let that energy cleanse and clear us but it looks like those of you that have lots of worries lots of fears get out there and put your feet on the ground or sit and breathe and just ask for guidance and I'm pretty sure you're going to get it. it. Seems like a lot of you have had, um, I don't want to call it a wake up call, but an aha moment where things have turned around because sometimes when we change the way we see things or think about things, things change. It says don't worry about what other people say, you know, it, 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 sometimes it doesn't matter. Actually it really never matters, it's what you say or what you believe and when we do that it just seems to be a lot easier for us. It says excuses are gone now. You've got the Ace of Cups, which says when your mind is filled with spirit, it fills your body to overflowing. What you think about, you become. Don't forget that, Sagittarius. It says that apprenticeship that you were working on, maybe you were writing a book, put it away, bring it back out. Maybe you were sewing a quilt and put it away, bring it back out. Or whatever it is, painting or just, you know, meditating, whatever it is, it says, you know, bring that stuff back out and make it about you says when we do that, when we can find peace within, life is peaceful. And sometimes the peace is, the, the non-peace is just in our mind because we see things different or we're judging people or we're saying, you know, we're just so much chaos. So when we can find a peaceful, quiet time, it really can really change the way we feel. And when we're peaceful and not stressed and not worrying, you know, our health is even can be a little bit better there. Those of you that are wanting to move, gosh, that's been over and over and over for the signs. This is month to do it. Think about it or start the plan and um, the action for that. It just says that, you know, don't pick up and <laughs> just move, make your plan. But it says if that's what you're really wanting to do, it certainly is possible right now to get that started. It says, too, that abundance. Abundance, most people go right to monetary, which it can be that, but it also can be joy, bliss, and ease. So if you're wanting monetary, that's fine, but joy, bliss, and ease isn't bad either. So ask and then get out of the way and let divine time bring it to you. It comes in divine time. Let it arrive for you. We can't go back and change what's, you know, gone, but we can work with what we have. And it says that um, sometimes things are removed out of our path or our life or our way so that we can get to the purpose we decided to come here to do. And that can be hard too because when something's taken away we wonder what we did wrong. Sometimes we did nothing. Maybe we lost our job. Maybe we lost somebody in our family. Whatever it is, it's never easy when we have loss. So it just says, remember when we ask for things from the universe, it's going to come in divine time. And, you know, we want it now. Stamp our foot. We are well, human. We want it right now. But remember that. It'll, it'll make things easier for you. It says there's a lot of spirit help around you. Ask for help. And then, again, let, them, let, it, let it come in at its own time. Because we can't order, you know, things to come to us. Or I don't believe we can. I, maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. But it says in the love area, be kind. Sometimes, you know, we think we have to be right. And ask yourself, do I need to be right? Is it really going to change anything? Sometimes just, I'm not saying giving in, but changing uh, the choice of having an argument or not having an argument can be a big deal. In a way, it's not giving our power away. And when we don't give our power away, guess what happens? Things get better. 
things really do get better. It seems like alms dispense with justice. There's going to be less worry about money, less worry about paying bills. And it says, you know, if you want to save some money, that's good, but I wouldn't hoard. Whenever we hoard something, you know, out of fear, we start putting, you know, all of our money away for a rainy day rather than paying our bills and buying food and such. Sometimes not so good things happen. So in moderation, and it says you've been working really hard or... Um, Maybe, I don't know, you're going to be working really hard is what I think this says. And sometimes learn how to work smarter, not harder. New beginnings um, are really possible. You may be hearing from someone from the past and it's going to be a good thing. Just what I would suggest or what it suggests here is let them prove themselves. Treat them like a new friend. Um, because it's, it could be a healing time. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's an old love. Maybe it's just a friend. But it says someone from the past is going to be really good for you. And it might give you time to heal. Or maybe it's the, the spark or incentive for you to heal something from the past that was the tower. You know, and sometimes the tower comes so we can have um, things our way, have things anew. Ace of Pentacles says something is going to be offered to you. That could be money, it could be a job, it could be an offer on a house, or maybe you're buying a house or something. Just be open to it. And remember this, Sagittarius, it's been a long year. <laughs> Last year was a long year. I just feel this year is going to be much better for us all. So thank you so much for dropping in to see me. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss, and I'll see you again next month.